checklists are a simple and effective way of ensuring workshop attendees implement what they've learned. Some people will prefer a checklist they can print off, while others want to complete it on screen. My name's Catherine. In this short tutorial, I'll show you how you can create a checklist in InDesign that's both interactive and printable. Here's my basic document in InDesign. I already have my header and layout. Now I want to add the checkbox items. Click on the rectangle tool or press M. Now click and drag, holding down the shift key as you drag. This ensures it's a square rather than a rectangle. That's about right. I do want to move it slightly though, so I'll press V to activate the select tool, then move it over here. Now I'll add a border to make it stand out. I'm also going to add a drop shadow using Ctrl, Alt and M. I'll change this distance to zero because I don't want it to be offset. This is the checkbox that appears on the printed version. Now we want an interactive checkbox that people can complete on screen. I'm using the rectangle tool again and holding down the shift key to keep it square. Now I've got one square inside another. Next I want to add some text for that checklist item. I'll click on the type tool or press T and add that text. I'm now using Ctrl and Shift and the right arrow to make that text a bit bigger. Now I'll go back to my selection tool and select that in the box. That's going to be the checkbox we're completing on screen. I'll click Object, Interactive, Convert to Checkbox. Now you can see it's a checkbox, a tick has appeared. I don't want that one by default though, so I'll choose Normal Off. Our first action is set up here. I want to duplicate that setup for the remaining actions. I'll click and drag to select those three items, the action text, the box with the border and the checkbox. This is where the magic happens. With those selected, I click Ctrl and Alt and U to duplicate it. I can choose how many times I want to repeat those objects too. I've chosen five here. If you've got the preview box checked, it'll show you what it's going to look like. I can also switch that off. If your items are scrunched up or too far apart, you can adjust the offset amount here. I'll click OK and quickly update my actions. That's ready to go now, at least for the purposes of this demo. I'll press Ctrl and E to export it. I need to make sure that under Save as Type, it's Adobe PDF Interactive, otherwise it won't work properly on screen. Here's my PDF. Anyone can now just print this off and complete it with a pen, or they can click in the boxes here to say that they've completed the actions. I hope you found that useful. Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.